Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. This is a video that I've wanted to post for a very long time. This is going to be my 120 million dollar Fortnite account. Or, jeez, GTA. I'm so used to making those videos. To those of the Matthew Thompson channel and the Protino Life channel, I would like to welcome you to my garage tour. I'll be showing you everything from hangers to bunkers to even my submarine just to prove that DG Zondi is real. I am level 63, so it's not like I'd be able to. Actually, I won't really do anything, but eight million dollars in this game, if you buy from Rockstars, is like what is like a hundred so dollars, which I find is crazy expensive. And on this account, I've only spent a hundred and twenty dollars. That's it. So, to those who don't know what I'm talking about. DG Zani is a website that you can get Fortnite products, Rockstar game products, and other other games and whatnot. But really, if you ever want to buy any GTA products from modded accounts to modded cars to even shit ton of money, check them out. Anyway, let us get commence into this video. Okay, so for my first garage, I will be going for my office garage. So this is like A1. So these are kind of sportier. These are like sports cars. These are right this row anyway is from most expensive to least. And that goes the Tesseract. The I think this is the FMJ over this is the Tyrant. I forget what this one's called. Uh actually the 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 Tesseract's actually on sale this week. So if you ever if you want to get it, now's your chance. And almost all of these cars are won by podium. This car's a podium car I've won. I've won this podium car. I've won this one and this one as well. This one I bought with the PlayStation Million Dollar GTA package. And I noticed in PlayStation Plus Store today, it's not in there. So I'm guessing the um, they're not doing it anymore. So I guess August was last time. So yeah, those are kind of like my kind of nice cars. And then up here, kind of just cars that I think are nice or just ones I've thrown in. See this truck? I found this on the road and I just think it looks really nice. This is just kind of an old Corvette that I just find that looks nice as well. This Jeep, the I won this from the podium. This was a free car if you get the Criminals Enterprise pack. And then this one is a car I've also won. I don't really like it, but I keep it. Just be, I don't know, just because. And upstairs are just muscle cars. I use all the car, all the spots that aren't filled in. They they're um, I put them in a different garage. So this car I'm actually gonna sell it soon. I was thinking of like upgrading it, making it look nice, but I don't know. This car I found the street, upgraded it, really nice. This is the I'm pretty sure this is the. Uh, I forget what this is called. It's like a four hundred fifty thousand dollar car, and I kind of upgrade it to what my uncle's car looks like, but without the. Uh, Kind of little engine thing peeking out there, and then this is the uh, Dominator GTX. I think this is a podium car that I have also won. So yeah, that is uh, first garage. 
So for my second garage, there's actually nothing in there. I was thinking of putting more sports cars in there. Oh, um, for this garage, this garage is filled with any cars that have special abilities like heavier armor or just shoots missiles or anything. So this is a dominate, uh, Jesus. So this Deluxo, uh, when I first got my $15 million from uh, DG Zani, they gave me $16 million. The uh, FR4 uh, 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 F1, uh, the PR4 F1 car, the what the uh, open wheel series, and I bought this with my last time, the scramjet. There's a presser actually bought that pretty recently, and then this bot's supposed to be for the Torador, the the submarine car. Uh, I have no idea where it is right now, but I will find it. And this is the Night Shark. I found, I got this from the podium, second try, I think. And then this is actually free right now in the cash and carry if anyone wants to get that right now. But other than that, that's all my special weaponized vehicles. So for this here, I would like, I don't know, show my uh, cocaine lockup, I guess, or what I have. I really don't know why everyone are wearing underwear, masks, and that, but I guess I need more supplies, and yeah. I just like to show this for anyone who wants a business kind like this. Go to the motor motorcycle clubhouse, go into the computer, and you will be able to purchase one. This is the 1.8 million dollar cocaine setup, like right beside my office. And yeah, that's yeah. Uh, sorry I started this in my car, but I'd like to say I'm sorry for, uh, getting this video out late. I would have gotten it a lot sooner, but when I got my 100 million from DG Zani. Oh yes, for those who don't know about where to go for your portal to talk to them, you, uh, usually, if you give them their, there's like a, when you go to the, conf uh, there's like a thing where... You put your email in, and then they, um, and then they send you the portal to your account, to your email, and then your post to, uh, and then you just look from there. You can talk to them and whatnot, and and it would have came a lot sooner because for some reason DG Zani gave me thirty-three million dollars. And then $66 million in cars and deluxos. So I had three garages full of deluxos, so it took me about a day and a half to sell them all. And actually what I noticed, if you click on the down arrow, you can, oh, you can actually see the stats of your cars. I didn't know if that was a thing, but yeah. But anyway, these are free cars. I put them all in a garage by themselves just because they all have like numbers on them and whatnot. And they're not really special to me. I'm only reason why I'm keeping them is because they're free. And I have a shit ton of garages. Well, anyway, on to the next uh on to the next garage. And then after I go from the this actually will be the auto shop. And then, hopefully, I'll be able to show you my bunker and facility and whatnot. Uh, to any of those who don't know what the auto shop is, it's basically uh, the it's with the LS Car Meet update where you get cars from customers and then you build on how they want them. See, this one's already finished, and and. Uh, actually, and I'll get a staff to live to deliver them. That's what the staff is for. You have two cars, and you basically build them the way they want. 
the other car isn't done but this garage is filled with all my nice cars and I just and all and Benny's cars see most of these are Benny's cars but all this I bought with my hundred million except for the uh, LGRS custom that that I bought a while ago oh yeah with the auto shop definitely get the auto shop if you are under a hundred and you can't get every uh, you can't customize your car I can actually go into I can actually if you buy the garage you can actually customize your car to the max level and everything is cheaper so all these cars are maxed even if I'm level 63 I can go in there and fully max out the car it doesn't matter like I brought my reason why my Toyota was in my office because I brought it here to max it out but I forgot to put it in my gra uh, my office but yeah these are all really nice cars this is the uh, this is one of the new cars this is the Comet RS whatever the new Comet the new and then these are these three are Benny's that's also Benny's Benny's this is the Sultan Classic uh, they have wheels that are like that I don't I put them like that because I find it weird and I don't know if you guys like the stripes on that but yeah this is the Jester I'm pretty sure and then right here is uh, looks like a Porsche I forgot what it's called I'm pretty sure this, yes this is the Comet that can be upgraded and I and out of with all my nice cars out of the way let's go to let's go to Maze Bank uh, the Maze uh, <laughs> yeah let's just go to the um, Maze Bank Arena to show off all my arena vehicles so this is the Maze Bank Arena this place is maxed I have paint jobs and I still have the default guy I don't know what the other ones do it wouldn't even let me change change them anyway but I bought two uh, uh, two new arena vehicles but here's a Cybris I call it Big Bertha and then got the death bike over there and the uh, I forgot what this car is called, but this is, if you want a really nice arena vehicle, I'll go for this first. I'm thinking of changing the paint style since these two cars kind of make this car feel weird with its paint job. But either than that, these are my arena vehicles. So this is my nightclub. Yeah. And I'm uh no idea what I'm doing right now. but I'll go I'll go to tires enhancements already has bulletproof tires which is nice windows make that full brakes full engine max Highlights just like that. Don't need kit livery. This is free apparently. I'll keep like that. V spray transmission. I'll max that out. No. I think that's it.
exit the vehicle. I have, this is like the first time like here. I have no clue in where my, uh, where my car is. Nightclub. No. Well, this, this place is very maxed out all the way to the, I'm trying to find the, uh, thing that you use to upgrade oppressors with, and I have nowhere in clue, nowhere, no idea where it's at. But I guess I will drive this van that I apparently have. Well, I will see you guys in my next... In my hangar. Yes, my hangar. Welcome to my hangar. Before I got the 100 million, I only had the Hydra and this free Cuban plane. Cuban 800, I am... I think. This... Yeah, you get this free. Well, I got three new vehicles. I got the um, I got this because I wanted a propeller plane, and it's a World War Two plane, as of what I'm guessing. I got the B11 because it because uh, it looks exactly like the Warthog, and it just sounds really good. And this is the Akula. I like I got this out of the other planes because it can go into the off radar off radar mo mode or whatever it's called and I just think it's a really good looking vehicle or plane helicopter god Welcome to my facility this facility is maxed out and has everything this is the Avenger that I bought that, I, that is maxed out and is very nice. And over there is my Kanjali tank that is really good also. And since I don't want to make this video too long, let's just cut it. Let's just uh, go to the final destination of which is my bunker. So this is my uh, bunker. So my uh, um, this is max security's right there. Uh, this is the MOC. It's fully maxed. Everything. I even have the cooler looking cab. Um, oh. Uh. I do have the gun range. Somewhere. It is. Not there. I think it's over here. Yes, the gun range is right here. Uh, I won't be able to fit through there. And then I have everything maxed. I did not know you can get this. Complete all shooting range weapon challenges. Tier 3 to unlock them. Okay. I just really need to get to... Tier, yeah, I don't even need the RPG or... Or, yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, so this is all maxed. Let me see if I could speed up my research. But, yep. Uh, supplies? No, we go to 
steel supplies, fast track research, confirm. I unlocked the rear turrets for the mobile. Oh, I, I actually got this. Okay, that's, that's actually really good. I actually really want to get this now. I can get that next. Well, that's amazing. Well, to any of you, this might be my last vit channel. This might be my last, my last video for the Matthew Thompson channel, but for the Protein No Life channel. I'm so sorry that I took so long with making videos. But anyway, this is my 100, $120 million account slash garage tour. I hope you like it, and see ya in the next video.